Welcome to the Pharmacy Pearls Opioid Education video series. In this edition, we'll review the basics about opioids. I hope you enjoy. Opioids are chemicals that are either derived from the opium poppy or are synthetically manufactured by pharmaceutical companies. Whether synthetic or naturally occurring, opioids all act in similar ways at specific sites in the body. They are depressants and slow down the central nervous system. At high levels, opioids reduce consciousness and decrease breathing, called respiratory depression. Opioids attach to specific receptors in the brain, spinal cord, and gastrointestinal tract and block the transmission of pain messages. They induce euphoria and users generally report feeling warm, drowsy, and content. Opioids also relieve stress and discomfort by creating a relaxed detachment from pain, desires, and activity. They also cause slow heart rate, constipation, a widening of blood vessels, and as mentioned, decrease the natural drive to breathe. Opioids differ in both strength and how long they remain active in the body. At least three factors must be considered when judging the strength of an opioid and therefore its risk for causing an overdose. Prescription opioids come in short-acting and long-acting formulations. Short-acting and long-acting opioids contribute to overdoses in different ways. For example, oral methadone usually stays in the body for more than 24 hours and therefore can contribute to overdose risk over a long period of time whereas intravenous fentanyl only lasts for a few minutes. Tampering with how an opioid medication is manufactured can turn a long-acting, less potent medication into a more potent, rapid-acting one. If an extended-release tablet is crushed, the medication becomes short-acting and more potent. Rapid delivery of opioids via injection and smoking increases overdose risk. The faster the opioid is delivered, the more intense the high, but also the greater risk of overdose. Injecting heroin delivers more opioid to the brain faster than sniffing. However, no delivery method protects an opioid user completely from an overdose. In conclusion, remember these three points. There are street opioids such as heroin and prescription opioids. Opioids vary in how long they last in the body, and lastly, how you take different opioids affects how long it lasts in the body and how potent it is. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next edition of the Opioid Overdose Education video series where we'll review the concept of an opioid overdose. And while you're here, please show your support for Pharmacy Pearls by subscribing to my YouTube channel.